Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your short love reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Pisces. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Piscean Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on with my Piscean people. Jesus Christ. All right, the devil out the gate. All right, yep. This going to be some shit. Uh, maybe you're just overspending. Maybe you're overindulging. Maybe you're overeating. Um, maybe you're just materialistic. Maybe, maybe you're in a third party situation. Maybe you're some toxic relationship. Maybe you know about it too. Um, because off camera, what I was getting was that the wife knows about the other woman. Neither one of them are letting go. It's like the both of them look at this man as like a, a money grab or, or like a prize or they, they're just not going to give up on this. Not easily. OK, of the two of swords, there is some breakdown in the personal close connection because somebody is given to two parties. Somebody feels like they have the power here. OK, they hold the power because you're waiting for their attention, their affection. And the other person is waiting for their attention and their affection. So they have the big man on campus. They hold all the power and the ladies just waiting for them. You know, the seven of cups again, waiting, wondering if they're coming back, daydreaming about them, holding on to their every word, their every um, their promise. They make promises. They don't keep any of them. Uh, someone could be dealing with a cheating, lying spouse here, a philandering spouse, the page of cups. Someone could not have a title in this relationship. There's a lot of false starts here. Like you feel like it's going good. It's moving along. And, and then it, it just goes sour page of swords. Yeah. Um, it just seems like once again, a lot of false starts, a lot of immaturity, a lot of emotional immaturity. There's someone who needs to be needs to grow emotionally, needs to be more romantic, needs to be more engaging um, with the page of swords here. Someone needs to watch their words and how they speak to the other person. Somebody talks down about the other person. Somebody gossips or listens to gossip. They're engaging in gossip about their own connection, about their own relationship. Also, somebody is very tactless, classless in terms of how they deal with themselves or they deal with the other person. Somebody is an airhead at best. The Queen of Swords, there's somebody putting their foot down and saying, look, this will not happen anymore. This is how it's going to go. And they may be talking about the other woman, telling the man, you're going to have to get rid of her. You're going to have to do this. You're going to have to do that. Here are the rules. Yeah, laying their foot down with a chariot card. Um, they're taking control of the direction, the trajectory of this relationship, this marriage this inequality that they are suffering the two of wands they understand that they are an option between one is the solid uh tried and true been with for years not going anywhere could be the wife and then the other one is the young fun adventurous spontaneous no strings attached type of energy and somebody is in between those two energies here and they just go back and forth here Somebody feels like the grass is greener and it could be this man, this emperor, uh, could be a fire sign or could just be a Scorpio, could be a Taurus or an Aries. Um, this is somebody who's built a lot up for themselves, who feels like they have all right, all reign to do whatever the hell they want to do. This is a masculine energy here. Someone who's done a lot. Okay. Especially for a feminine energy, giving her anything that she wanted or uh, provided a lot. For uh, feminine energy and children, the three of cups. So they, therefore, they feel as if they should do whatever they want. Again, coming up with the three of cups here, um, they should be able to date, go to social event, hang out, do, talk to, communicate with whomever, and um, no restrictions. Okay, the ten of wands uh, could be dealing with a uh, mutable sign, uh, Sagittarius. There coming up. Someone who makes it hard to deal with, someone who has a lot on their plate, someone who um, they have a lot of success and they may even be tired because of the weight of their success here. Um, someone who 
um, something in the relationship needs to be examined, but both of you just keep glossing over it and looking over it. The relationship right now is karmic, toxic, because there are no, or there was no real intentions for the connection. There were no milestones. There were no, there was no agenda for the connection. It was just a lot of doing. And sometimes we can make our own toxic connections when we are just engaging in things and we're not, we don't have any real intention for them. And that maybe that's how somebody was, was what they were doing with you or you were doing with them. The six of swords here. Somebody feels like, I just need to move on or we need to move on or move past this or get past this. Or somebody feels like, I just need to get over this relationship or over this person or move on. Um, it just makes sense. It, somebody's rationalizing this moving on. Um, they're tired, you know, of uh, the reversal here. They're not going to win. They may even be moving on in shame because they didn't. They did not win. Okay, um, maybe even trying to move on in secrecy. Not even trying to make a big funk about it or all this noise about it. They're just trying to quietly just sail on down the river here. Queen of Cups could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be um, Cardinal sign. Could be Cancer. Somebody could be just trying to move on and maintain their emotional stability because maybe they were a part of a third party situation. Um, they were a part of something where they just weren't winning because somebody was too tied to their past, too tied to a toxic energy, too tied to something that wasn't serving them or wasn't for their highest good. So therefore, somebody feels like I just need to move on and develop myself and my own psychic abilities and just be the gift that I was meant to be to the world. The moon card, yeah, because there's too much unknown here and there's too much, just too many lies, too much deception. Too, the veil is too, it's, it's just a veil here. It's, it's too clouded. It's too murky i don't know what the fuck is going on and i can't rest in this energy of not knowing uh what this person is doing when they're not with me what this person's intentions are i can't deal with the lack of intimacy we can only go but so deep uh in terms of our relationship because this person doesn't want to let me in because of all of the the lies and the deception therefore they don't want me to see the real them with the moon card there's a veil here. What's the advice for Pisces? The Ten of Pentacles. Um, somebody, if you're dealing with somebody that's married, they're going to stay in this connection because they're married and they're dedicated to the legacy, the empire, the outcome of what they have built. They're not moving away from this. Even if they tell you that they do, they're not. They're not dedicated to the person that they're married to, but they're dedicated to what they have built here. This person could be spending a lot of time at home where they need to, or this is what you need to do, Pisces. You need to be dedicated to your legacy, your empire. It says happy, organized people build empires. Make sure you're those two things at least. Happy, organized. Therefore, you can build an empire. If you're neither one of those things, then you can't build an empire there. Frustrated, disorganized, unhappy people don't build empires. They, they tend to crack under the weight of success. So, um, some of you want to marry and marry this person because they have money or you want to be attached to this person because they have money. But it seems as if the, the, um, opportunity to be that to them is already taken. It seems as if this person is already has like family, grandchildren, grown adult children. I don't know. Pisces, this is your reading. Go over to the website, book your reading there. If you feel like this reading resonated for you, go um, ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Pisces. Many blessings to you.